this. See? Just because it doesn't shoot lasers doesn't mean it's not worth looking into. We could do amazing things with this data. your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done.
Hmm, what's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad, not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. You're here. Ready to begin? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh and survive the resulting blast. Good. Return to me when it's done. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you?
It's possible. I've spent the last few days in a cave, after all. For all we know, that man sent someone immediately after you to swipe the data while you posed as Mantis bait. Nothing to be done about it, I suppose. All we can do is delete what's here, and that's done. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Didn't I? Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? All that matters is whether the data is intact. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares, as if I didn't have other matters on my mind. If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Hardin will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. 
If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Have you found it? I then we have nothing further to talk. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Give me a shout if Ooh, got something good for me? <gasps> Is it a dress? Sure, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out but checked it back in a day later. Later. Yes, can I help you? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice, but before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear.
Here we go. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Another satisfaction.
Veronica. I hope... I brought you a present. This disc has secrets to breeding plants that can thrive in the wasteland. High Elder Maxon didn't found us to be botanists, Veronica. Think about it. No more trading guns for food. Total self-sufficiency. It's what we always wanted. This won't get us Hoover Dan. Yes, it will. If we feed people, they'll support us. They'll join us. What does the Codex say? A bunch of close-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? No. Our case wouldn't be any stronger if tomorrow they all died when their energy weapons backfired. I just didn't expect that. There was no getting through to him. How can I help them when they won't accept it? It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. Not even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are gonna get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good, right about now. talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the Elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Yeah, I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. No, I think it is. I have to be resolved about this. If I waver, it'll just make things harder. They need me, and I'm not going to abandon them. Good idea.
I've been doing this longer than you, pal. Here we go. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Gonna fix this bitch. Let us and die. I've been doing this longer than you, Cal. Sure, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. 
When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Have you had any luck finding the scout? That is this base's defensive system. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners, though we still send such out at night to be extra safe. It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. It was decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them, and we have half the number we did at Helios. And so the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface, they trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active, to avoid detection. Bye. <laughs>